an anthem that's the envy of clubs right around the world and it is Liverpool in red who get things started attacking the goal to the left of screen Dayan Lovren one of the three inclusions Joe Allen another at the base of midfield for Liverpool taking on Adelaide United a team that played some fantastic football last season came within one game of reaching the grand final expecting a great contest tonight of course Brisbane took the lead against Liverpool on Friday night Adelaide United will look to upstage the Premier League Giants Jute just putting the pressure on Lovren and he gets it back from Skirtle and now Gomez pretty congested in midfield but the touch of Lalana has opened things up 1-2 with Origi there's a chance for Ive on the other side and it was a challenge that had to be timed well by Osama Malik and was a risky place to be diving in like that had to get the ball Adelaide United on the back foot here's Milner clever ball looking for Ive at the top of the box yeah. the pace of Joe Allen getting into the area and anywhere will do for Adelaide United we'll try and weave some magic Lana again, beautiful feet releasing Gomez, Origi wants it played in across the face, there is the delivery, and eludes Origi in the middle Ive was on side at the back post lovely change of direction Jordan Ive and he wins the corner McGowan got the block in what you'll find is every time we're sent the half for Liverpool gets the ball you'll have Bruce J.A. closing down every time one of the fullbacks gets the ball Craig Goodwin will go, go and close their right fullback down You'll have Thierry closing the left full back down. Gombau has it so well, they know exactly what they're doing when they're in the defensive settled. There's room for Milner though, between the lines. Origi pulled out to the left. Still Divock Origi leaves the defender on the ground and tries to blast it home into that top corner. And just slice wide. Now Allen. Henderson covering for him, Origi on the burst, and can't get the shot across the face of Galekovic. dashing to get back in position there but great to see a centre half with that kind of determination to, to want to drive into that area and again Skirtle just manages to put McGowan off with his body but Adelaide shown signs that they're here to compete but Henderson able to wriggle his way clear and then spray one beautifully to Ibe. Remind you of anybody? <laughs> Henderson or Gerrard-like range, you think, on the passing. Here's Ibe in the central area. What about the change of direction to get rid of Malik? But Gligovic down smartly to smother. Things are very impressed with this lad. The siege for the opening 10 minutes and Lady United, but now pushing on very nicely indeed. How's the touch from Thirio there? Giving Gomez the run around and across the face looking for Jitta. And they'll get a corner out of it. Brings it out of play by Lovren. Here's an offside decision. Yeah, two or three yards. We get into the back heel by Goodwin. Penalty shout came in. Ooh. Yep, that would have. And then the skills, the quality from Thierry are there, making Gomez, twisting them one way, turning the other, getting the cross and winning Adelaide, Adelaide a corner here. And Craig Goodwin's delivery. He's got a lovely left foot. He used to practice these in training for the Newcastle Jets on a regular basis, free kicks. He loved it. 
Jago's there for the short option. But he gets it straight in there. It's not too far away. Mignolet was scrambling. Fortunately for him, it went just over the crossbar. That was cheeky from Goodwin. Yeah, he had him scrambling. I think Craigie was trying to not be as cute as that, but he's trying to put everything on top of Mignolet. We know he's not the biggest of goalkeepers. He doesn't like coming out and catching them. Over the back of Joe Allen, brought it under control and kicked the ball away in frustration. Just a little warning on the run from the referee. Brilliant stuff from Milner. And Golekovic had to get down and palm it away at his near post. A chance out of nothing. Milner just said, I'll go forward and try and make something happen. He can't wait to play in the Premier League again in this position. He gave away that controversial penalty against Brazil in the World Cup opener. Signed for Liverpool. And couldn't cement her first choice central defensive position. There's Lallana teeing up Milner again. And it breaks for Origi, who was onside. And he couldn't get his bearings in time to get a shot past Golekovic. No, his, his thought wasn't, his, his brain wasn't working quick enough there. The ball felt the room. He should have anticipated that and he should have done a lot better. Milner with a shot, come off Malik. Oh, I'll give him, maybe I was being a bit too harsh on him there. Did come off him. And they're both coming to you on gem. Wide World of Sports, 7:30 p.m. Friday night, the big one. As the first half comes to an end, a goalless first half. Liverpool were dominant in the first 10 minutes. Looked like they get a goal or two, but then Adelaide United got their share of possession. They've got good pedigree, the defenders on paper, Liverpool, but they don't look all that convincing at times. No, they don't. And that, that's been a key when Lovren. Was that Southampton looks so dominant? He came to Liverpool. Oh, I brave header. With Maroney's boot. Joe Allen. Nice ball to the feet of Origi. Good play this by Liverpool. Starting to find their groove. And across the face from Jordan Ive. And Galekovic was down trying to keep it out. Didn't need a touch in the end, it was just wide from the youngster. Again, we talk about how he gets the ball drive straight towards goal. His, his thought process is amazing. Trying to get Tarek Elrich on his back foot, twisting and turning. Just dragging that one wide. But the positiveness, you, you, can, you can see now why they're talking about and raving about him. Really looking forward to that contest. And then the big one on Friday night, also on Gem, also 7.30. And that's Real Madrid against Manchester City look at this oh, I through again and the shot is denied by Galekovic Milana trying to bend in another one just as he did against Brisbane again Liverpool's counter-attack I was looking at Ive thinking he'd taken the wrong touch he could have I thought he was going to take the touch through Tarek Elrich and Malik next change imminent Danny Ings, the off-season arrival from Burnley. And some final instructions. Look at the space out there for Moreno. Not afraid to shoot. Tries to pick out a teammate. Ryan trying to take him in his stride. Now Milner on the follow -up. That's a terrific ball and no one reading it. He's got to be frustrated about his teammates' lack of effort in the middle there. And it's tough, isn't it, for these players to... Push on now, nudging 70 minutes. Space opening up as you'd expect. Henderson using Lalana as a decoy. Milner with a terrific run to open up this space for Ive who bends it. And the goal stands. James Milner again for Liverpool. Two and two for him. And he deserves that one. And he's done the slide. He's got a touch and it's ended up in the back of the goal. There's that run inside there. He committed his ace to follow him. Held his line. Great goal. 1-0 Liverpool. Advantage play to the attacking team because he's offside by a metre or so. But the goal does stand. Adelaide United fans were waiting for the flag to go up. It never came. Milner showed Origi what he should have done in the previous attempt when he's played the ball across goal. 
shown his hunger and desire there and obviously the pressure and the chances of Liverpool has paid off in the end or a rest for a, a Milner or a Henderson here goes Elrich one back by Jago well and Elrich with his head up encouraged to shoot and it's just wide from Tarek Elrich that close to an equaliser Yeah, Joe Allen got the challenge in on Tarek Elrich. I thought he'd done his, done his job. He, he messed around with the ball. Tarek won it back. You could see he was eyeing up goal. He was going to have a strike. He thought, I'll take another touch. And he's tried to do the reverse ball. And he's come so close to levelling the score for his team. And again, how many times have we seen that from Elric in the A-League? Off the pace at the post. And Real Madrid against Manchester City on Friday night. Both those matches. Coverage starts 7.30. Diego unable to stretch and Ings with a chance. Filled by Mullet. Here at the Reds. Free kick. Whipped in and Danny Ings had the free header. Just had to keep it down and it's 2 0. And he has his first Liverpool goal, but he couldn't. No, he couldn't and he should have. Eugene's committed himself. He's come off his line. Just got to get a little flick touch on towards the goal, and it's you know it's two 0 But to breath of fresh air, get your first goal. But you can see he's really clutching and trying to do the hard things. When sometimes it's just better to relax and steady yourself and wait for that opportunity to come. Fine, driving into a central area. Here is Ings' opportunity, and it's two 0 to Liverpool. There's the relief for the signing from Burnley. Victory safe. Two from two now on their Australian tour, Liverpool. And the fans are going to go home happy. They certainly will. And we were just talking about it. That is, he showed lovely composure here when he when he got the ball at his feet. But it's the run. You just see him. He just sets off here. You see he's playing. He wants the ball. Smalik gets sucked out. So he gets attracted towards the ball. The timing of the run is brilliant. In the touch around Eugene just giving himself a little opportunity knowing that the keeper's committed and then he can slot it into the empty net Liverpool 2-0 and yeah Ings is off the mark and that'll do his confidence the world of good and you know I'll be saying to Brendan Rodgers that's why you brought us if you find us you find me feet I will score you goals yeah, he went on a, an amazing streak last season with Burnley scored five in six at one stage and that you'll never walk alone tonight will live long in the memory as well for everyone who was in the house Good work by the PA as well. They just turned the sound down at times and the crowd took over. That was phenomenal. It's just amazing. Every time you hear it, it gets better and better. And it's it's something that, that stays with you. I mean, I've had the joy of being able to play at the cop, but when you hear it inside this kind of stadium when there's 50,000 at you know, Melbourne, there was 80,000. It just gives you spine. And they get a consolation. Chance here for Malik. He just rushed the shot. It wouldn't come down in time for him. And when the pressure came, he scooped one over the bar, but it would have been consolation, deserved consolation. He's had a great game, Malik. He's been at the heart of everything in the defence. He's broke down play. That would have been a, a great way to finish it. And there goes the full-time whistle. Danny Ings has his first Liverpool goal. And again, admiration shown for the way Adelaide United played their football tonight. Brendan Rodgers, perfect pre-season in terms of wins thus far as Liverpool win it 2-0 over Adelaide United.